time of her life. I'm having the time of my life. No. Here she go again. She, she be trying to cheat. I'm shooting squirrels because they keep messing up our stuff around the house. Someone please tell me if I'm doing something wrong. Be yes. When you're shopping, just say no. You don't need that. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another video. It's been a few weeks, but we are back. And today we are outside kind of just doing some work. I recently got some new plants that I planted in some planters here behind me and some up front. So every morning I've been coming out here and making sure they are watered um, because it's been really hot. Today is like 88 degrees. Yesterday was like 90 something degrees. So I had to make sure I was on top of my plant care because let me show you. We've had some casualties. So you guys know we did the patio makeover and I had these pretty petunias right next to the couch. Look at these things. They are dead and dried up. So this needs to go to the trash, but it's a shame that I didn't take care of these ones the way I should have. Um, I don't know why. I just kind of forgot about them, even though we actually sit out here. Yeah, I just kind of forgot about them and they've suffered. The other ones, on the other hand, are not completely dead, but they look a hot mess. It looks like they're on one of their last days uh, because half of this is dried up and brittle marble. And the other half is just shriveling away. So that was a waste of money. But we will probably get some new plants to replace those two at some point um, because I love seeing the fresh blooms. Um, this is something that was already there. But anyway, yeah, I come out here every day um, pretty early and try to water all of my plants. So we're going to do that. And then maybe I'll show you kind of right now. Before I do my watering for the day, let me show you kind of a little garden tour. Obviously, none of this stuff is stuff that we have planted because, as you guys know, we moved in last August. So everything that's blooming is new to us. We are just now finding out like, oh, this is kind of cute. We want to keep this. We want to get rid of this, whatever, whatever. So... Let me show you what we're working with right now. So looking out on the deck, we have, I like this. Whatever this is, I really like this. Um, it looks like it needs to be pruned a little bit, the way it's growing. I don't know, if you have one of these, let me know if it just naturally looks like that or if I should be pruning that. This thing, it's, I don't mind it, but it gets so crazy. Like I called myself pruning it or just trimming it, um, trimming it up but obviously it does not look like I did anything to it. But I do like this. I mean, it's a good, you know, nice bush, but I don't know, if we didn't have it, I wouldn't be upset about it. Then we have another pink flower, the same as that one there, but it looks like something is growing in here along with it. Then we have this thing, which has to go. I do not like whatever that is. This is one of the elephant ears, the, well, the only elephant ear. What is going on? What are... Anyway, I have no clue what they're running at, but this is an elephant ear that I planted like three, four weeks ago, and it is finally growing. Um, she has water in it. This one just yesterday was not open at all, but as you can see, it's starting to open. So these are going to be huge, I think, because the bulb was ginormous. So this one is thriving taking care of her so in the front i also got a few new plants and put them in planters i got some geraniums and they are looking real real nice this is what they're looking like they look really pretty I found them actually at kroger i don't know if you guys have a kroger by you but kroger has some pretty geranium these planters were left by the previous owner and i think they look really nice so really happy about these i also did get this welcome mat i'm not sure how i feel about it i think i want like a larger rug to go under it to like kind of fill up the space a little better so that's why i still have the tag on it because i don't know if i want to keep it or not i need to see that other rug under it but yeah that's also new on our way down to the pier we have some sets of lilies that are gearing up to bloom here soon as you can see all of these buds so that'll be pretty once they do bloom but their flowers don't last that long because I remember last year they were bloomed, but they didn't last that long. So 
I don't know. Lily is not my favorite plant, but you know, for the time being, it's nice that we have them kind of right here. And then if we go down to the pier, this is a shame. Someone please tell me if I'm doing something wrong because these here flowers lining the pier are irises and literally just the other day, they were nice and dark purple and in full bloom. And today they are looking really brittle. So I don't know if it's me. I haven't been watering them. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'm supposed to water them. I am today, but I don't know if I'm supposed to be watering them or not. So I don't know if I killed them or if their flowers just don't last very long in bloom. So if you have, if you're like a plant guru and know about uh, irises and flowers and things like that, let me know because this is my first time tending to like landscape. I'm learning and yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. But I just know that the things that I have planted in the planters, I know that I have to water those. So if you water your irises, let me know. And I guess I'll start next year because clearly they are not doing too hot. The other day, they literally all looked like this. It was full of blooms and it was so pretty. But yeah, they're just not looking great. And I'm kind of sad about it because if I should have been watering them, I really wish I would have known that. You that are what are you doing scaring me yeah pretty these are also irises just a different variety these are still in bloom so i'm not sure what's going on here but really marvel what are you doing shadow she just does her own thing anyway so yeah on the other side, it's the same thing. We're gonna go ahead and get everything watered. And then after that, we're gonna get ready to go to an estate sale. And there's also a staging sale for a design company who does a lot of staging for new homes. So we're gonna try to hit that up as well. And then later today, I bought an umbrella from Home Goods that we have to pick up. So I bought it for the patio area because if you watched one of our last videos, the patio makeover video, you know that I mentioned there's a lot of sun and it's really kind of uncomfortable sitting out there if you don't have any kind of shade. So I saw an umbrella at Home Goods. It was a hundred bucks and I figured we could try it out. If it doesn't work, we could take it back. So we're gonna pick that up later, see how it looks on the patio area. And then, yeah, so we have a packed day. So let's just get started. Okay, so there are so many cars here. So hopefully everything's not gone. I am a little late. It is 1046 and it started at 10, but we'll see what we can find. So there's a house. Well, there's a barn and there's a house. I think we'll start at the barn.
was a lot of stuff. I don't know where she kept everything in this house. I know they have a barn, but the people said that she had horses in the barn. So everything, all of that stuff have to, had to fit in the house. That's a lot of stuff to fit in that. Inside that little house, I can't even believe it. It just makes you want to say no. When you're shopping, just say no. You don't need that. It's just going to collect dust. This is not my first estate sale. We go to quite a few estate sales per year. But this one, oh my gosh. Just an explosion of collections, spoons, cups, glassware. Like you can't even appreciate or use all of that stuff because you have too much of it. So that one was a flop. There was nothing there that I saw that I needed to have. So I'm leaving empty handed, but that's okay. On to the next sale. Made it to the warehouse sale. This is super cute. Love that. This is huge. This would be fantastic for a basement. Love that. Look at this table, mom. Beautiful. Look at those pillows. Why would you show me these? How much are they? 45. For two? Yeah. These are really cute. Yeah. This chair is beautiful. I love it. But I do not like this price tag. Mm -mm. $846. Oh, that says retail. I don't know, but I would never pay $800 for one chair. Also love these. Love that. How much? $494. Never. Depends on how much it is. Oh, ten dollars. I also like this for something. All right, so I'm back home now. Gerald is here with me. <laughs> I'm shooting squirrels because they keep messing up our stuff around the house, so they got to stay away from here. They are messing up everything. These squirrels. So, anyway, I'm back now and. I was able to get the umbrella from Home Goods, um, so now we're gonna take it to the back, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. I'll we're definitely going to need like some weights or something, not very heavy, so it's not gonna stay in place. It's gonna flow right over with the next gust of wind. So we're gonna unload it, and then we're going to take it to the back. I think that's it, though, for real. Anyway. perfect guys we yes this is exactly what we were looking for but i think we're gonna move it this is what it looks like it's gonna be perfect oh. yep that's gonna be great just to have okay so we decided we're gonna have a pellet gun competition so we have some targets that we're gonna get out Put up our target. <laughs> I'm gonna do this so bad. We get three shots each. You hit a bullseye, that's 10 points. You hit anywhere in here, that's nine points. This ring is eight. That ring is seven, six, five, four. Yeah. It's on. Okay. I wouldn't say I'm like a competitive person, but I kind of am. But I'm not good at a lot of things. We like to compete a lot, and usually I lose. She but... always <laughs> loses. Give me this thing. But we'll see this time. Just one. You're going first? No, I'm just loading it for you. Oh, how do we know whose mark is mark? Yeah, we don't see where you hit, we don't see where I hit. That looks like nine. Starting off right. It was nine. Now it's Gerald's turn. Oh man. Which one is yours? Ten. Nah. <laughs> I'm gonna go show 
you know. She be trying me. I don't know why she be trying to play with me. She always thinks she gonna win. I guess. That's what he says. That's her right there. Nine. It's me right there, right in the middle. Mm. Mm. Here she go again. She, she be trying to cheat. No, he Let's review the film. He's cheating. <laughs> 20 to 17. He's cheating. I actually shooting a lot better than I thought she was going to. I knew we go lie to y'all. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's 17 to 20. We're going into the last round, and I got to make up some ground. Can I even win? Unless you miss the ball. Uh, unless I hit bad. So this one, this is how we, we'll do to make it fair. See the little red circles on the outside? I'll just use those for a bullseye instead of that middle one. So I gotta hit a bullseye. If I don't hit a bullseye, then I'll get seven points. So mine's either 10 points or seven points. And she can you know, do 10, nine, I'm the 10. eight. All right, she's okay. getting the 10, she says. Here we go. High right? No. I mean, not real high, but that. No. Yeah. Almost. He didn't get it, but he was close. All right. There's. Yeah. So what was the last one? Eight. My last one. I shot at that red thing. So what is it? Seven. 27 to 25. That's all right. Because the next <laughs> game we're playing is cornhole. I also suck at that, but I'm going to try harder. I got to go make us some margaritas real quick. She going to show y'all something. He's making us some margaritas. I'm going to show you guys what I got today at the different places we've been. So the first thing I got is this wine rack. And this is, it's just a cute little wine rack. I'm working on the bar area in the living room. So hopefully you guys will see that soon. And this will probably make an appearance because we wanna definitely incorporate some of the, you know, wine and different alcohols that we have in that area in a tasteful way. So picked up this because I thought it was really, just a cute one. So got this. I got this little basket and it's super cute. It's perfect to, my mom said she would put like sugars for her coffee in here, those types of things. But I'm gonna use it in the bar area somehow, whether it's just sitting on the shelf or something, we're gonna use it. And this was $5. Oh, and the wine rack was $10. And the last thing they got was this basket. So I picked up this basket and I figured that we could put some blankets in here. Um, we don't really have anything to put blankets in right now. So this is going to hold some blankets in the living room as well. I've been working on the living room. It's taking me longer than expected because curating everything for a nice living room is harder than I thought. So I'm just working on collecting some different things um, to make it all cohesive and make it look nice. So that's coming at some point. But yeah, that's what we picked up today. We made us our marks and we're actually just going to get on the paddle boat. It's a beautiful day. got drinks we're on the lake it's a beautiful day she's having the time of her life i'm having the time of my life this is amazing our neighbor is building a bunkhouse back there if you see right there where my straw is pointing he's building a bunkhouse on the lake so that'll be pretty cool hopefully maybe one day he can build us one or show us how he builds uh -huh. it so we can have one 
Okay. I gotta help, girl. Okay.